This airport in Argentina's capital is filled with homeless people. It's a snapshot of an economic crisis that's getting worse. The Buenos Aires Jorge Newberry Airport has become an unofficial shelter for people like Laura. There's a lot of us sleeping here. In a few hours, there'll be more. If you come at night, it's full of people. We come here because it's cold out. Here, at least, we can sleep. Roxana gets a government pension of about $200 a month. With an unexpected exchange rate, she often ends up with less. One local charity says the number of people without a roof over their heads has soared 30 percent since 2019. If I pay rent, I don't eat. And if I pay for food, I'm on the street. Argentina's annual inflation reached more than 100 percent in February. People have faced double-digit inflation for years, but this is the first time since 1991 it's been in triple digits. The frustration is growing. Earlier this week, protesters demanded a salary increase in line with the rising cost of living. Families say a government deal to restructure its $45 billion loan with the International Monetary Fund has yet to filter down and make a difference. Back at the airport, Argentinians like Elizabeth say they feel forced to leave. I'm going to France. I found a job there. Here the situation is difficult. My salary is not enough to pay rent. It doesn't matter how much they raise my salary. Inflation is too high. She's among thousands of Argentinians who've decided to leave hoping one day, if things get better, to fly to that same airport and get back home. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.